What is love? Hi there, I'm Jeff Broomfield and I'm a hypnotist and I've been doing a lot of work on myself and really getting this the answer to this question from me, you know, if you know me from a few years ago, then you're going to be wondering, how would this guy ever know? You know, I used to hate myself, really. And uh, it was probably, what, seven years ago now that I cleared out self-hate. And using hypnosis, of course, uh, a hypnosis technique called timeline therapy helped me to clear out self-hatred. Now, I didn't know, I still didn't know what love was. Uh, I just quit hating myself back then. And so uh, my life's really changed, and hypnosis has really made a lot of changes for me. And I have uh, come to realize, I, I used a modality called QHHT, and I went to see another practitioner who hypnotized me. And that was one of my questions. And so I was actually led into my own source of love. So what I found out is that all love is self-love. And so what happens is that love isn't something that can be given or taken away because at your very core, your source, the inner being that you have the higher self is a light being and the frequency of that light is love. It's pure love. And so love is your basic, it's who you are, right? So that's, that's your basic, that's who you are. It's your base emotion. And from there, uh, if you can imagine a guitar string, so you, you, you pluck the guitar string and fully open that is the sound that you get the frequency of love and as you move your finger down the fretboard you change the frequency of that string and you change your mood or your emotional state with each fret that you move and so you know you move from you know love and joy and bliss and happiness uh you know and you you have hope and then you get into your bad stuff and then uh, you know, sadness and depression and anger and hate. And so what really happens is that when you are in a hateful mood, that is when you are separated from your vibration of love. And so it's been dampened so much that you don't really even know who you are anymore. You don't connect with that side of yourself, your heart, your, um, your inner being, your subconscious, whatever that is, you just don't associate with that part anymore of course we all have to come back to it and what we all what, what a lot of people have come to believe is that in order to have love what you have to do is perform some kind of act and you have to deserve it before you can feel love you have to find the right person and so we place these barriers in between our ourselves and our love and make it conditional on so many other things. And this is taught uh, in society. This is how we were brought up. And we truly believe that, and I truly believe that other people were responsible for my emotions. And so what I did was I tried to manipulate people in order to get them to act a certain way so that I could feel the feelings that I wanted to feel. And quite often when you come from it from a lack of having then when you're trying to get it, then you work backwards to what you really want and you get the opposite reaction from that person that you wanted. So you don't get the love that you wanted when you try to do that thing. <laughs> you know, something totally different happens and you end up being disappointed and then thinking again to yourself that you're not worthy of love. But the truth is that you are worthy and that you don't have to do anything to deserve love. The only thing that you have to do is step into your light. It doesn't matter who you are, what you've done. None of that matters. All of us have it inside of us. If you didn't have it, you'd be dead. So you have it inside of you. And all you have to do is step into your light. Now, I use hypnosis to help people get there. A lot of people have different blocks and stuff so that they can't see it. 
and they they hide that part from themselves. So even when they they love a certain aspect of about themselves, what they do is they project that onto other people. So that's why you love other people. Uh, what you love about those people are the aspects about yourself that you suppress, that you deny, and you don't see yourself. And when you see them in another person, we tend to want to go and own that person and bring them in, and so that person completes us. You know, it's like our soulmate. You know, oh, they complete us, and then. After the honeymoon wears out, what happens is we go and we start uh, treating that person and those aspects of them that we suppress in ourselves and we treat them like we do for ourselves. And so we start suppressing them in that person. And so that's when all the arguing and the, you know, trying to fix them starts to happen. And, you know, that's not the way it really works. So when it comes to love, all love is self-love. And what happens is that you step into your light of love and you are a loving person and then you share that love that you have with other people. So you sh And you don't give it to other people. So you can't give it and you can't take it away from other people, but you can share it. And so you share the vibration of love with other people. And you do that by... Uh, being supportive, uh, you know, sometimes it, 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 you just don't have to say anything at all. You just have to be yourself and you have to enter that state yourself. And once you're in that state, then you, um, it just comes out of you. You, uh, you're, you're like a light. And so you radiate that love out into the world. And when other people see that it inspires them and they can match that vibration and feel that love as well. So that is how I see love. And I help people with hypnosis to find their source of love. And there's uh, a couple things that we can do. We can help them to uh, create that as a state that they can go into uh, with a keyword phrase. Or I have another method that I can use that installs it so that uh, we call it an anchor. So every time that you see the color red, blue, green, uh, yellow, pink, purple, black, white, or brown, then what happens is that you get that feeling back whenever you see one of those colors. And so that's an anchor. So uh, that's part of the session. There's a, a lot of stuff that can go on in a session. And I have a bunch of different modalities to choose from. And so this can be a short thing. You can actually find some of my videos on YouTube as well and check them out. Anyway, so that's uh, that's it. So all love is self-love, and we step into our love of li our light of love, and we own our vibration of love, and we basically beam that out into the world, and we share our love of, our love vibration with the rest of the world, and that's how love works from an energetic and a spiritual standpoint. And if you want to experience that for yourself, then go to my website. Check it out. Uh, you can book yourself a free strategy session and we'll get you set up so that you can find your inner love for yourself and change your life. Uh, I'm Jeff Broomfield and I help people find their purpose, their passion, <laughs> and their selves. So thanks for tuning in and have an awesome one.